Hello, and this is Typical Argonians. Well, first off, what is this? Well, this isn't a codex review. <laughs> this is a 1750 2000 point tournament list that I am entering into a Games of War, which is my local gaming club in Siam. Games of War tournament on the 8th and 9th of December 2012. <coughs> I've came prepared this time with a cup of water so if I ever get long pauses or if I ever get dry breath it will be easy to get back on track anyhow so day one day one well is there anything that isn't supposed to be here yes the vindicator right day one's list consists of Ari man why did I pick him because I like a level 4 psyker when I'm choosing two powers of telepathy and two levels of no yes biomancy and biomancy and telepathy biomancy because he's going to be with troops and he's going to buff the hell out of them so they don't get shot out the sky as soon as they see the Aegis defense line and telepathy just because I like to make things hard for my opponent <laughs> and also, you can't get divin divinitation, so uh, so telepathy is just going to be nice for him. Um, so this unit first. These two units here are both ten man chaos marine squads with two plasma gunners. I'm not sure how you do that. Peace sign. Two plasma gunners with a, each have a champion with gift of mutation and a lightning claw, as seen here. Apologies. One of the first miniatures I painted, and I think it was going well. It went well. And the second one, which was also one of the first miniatures I painted. But as you see, I've torn it to bits and then replaced it with better weapons. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, I did tear them off. Please. If you feel like you have, need to have a go at me because I replaced it. But the paint job was kind of, kind of poor, so that's off. This squad over here is another 10 man Chaos Marine squad with a champion with Gift of Mutation and Tactical Marine. Now, what's different about this unit? Two Melter Gunners. Yeah, I know what you're thinking about this guy. He's an absolute wreck. Well, that's because I got like 30 Chaos Marines plus a shed load of other things for a, for a well, a bargain bundle deal kind of thing, second hand. What I'm going to do is I'm going to replace it with a load of green stuff, just say tentacles coming out of it. So it looks like he's done something for the Chaos Gods and his gift is Exploding Torso with tentacles coming out they can't control. Truly, the Dark Gods have a dark sense of humour. And a Melted Gun guy. Yeah, uh, now why Melted Guns in 6th edition? I know it's one of those complicated things, but I was going through my list with a friend and I asked for some help and he said, change one of the squads for two Melted Gun squad. So yes, I have done that. Yeah. I'm just I'm just going to play it by ear to be fair with this squad. I'm going to stick Iron Man with this squad and I'm going to move forwards, <laughs> obviously. And I'm going to send this one to the heart of the enemy. Just, I mean, because if there's any artillery or if there's any tanks encroaching, two melt gunners to the face. Now, I don't even I don't even think uh, land Lehman Rust battle tanks monoliths. Armor 14 vehicles can withstand these little uh, beggars. Beggars for choosers. So yeah, that's one unit. Uh, Fourteen princes, which are not included, but because of gift of mutation and the chaos boon chart, if I get a sixty-five, after re-roll it, if I get another sixty-five, very risky and very lucky, I could have a potential demon prince, which is definitely what I want. So yeah, definitely them. Uh, this my heavy support choices are a defiler. Yes, I know. He hasn't broke off. He's magnetised, but the magnets are weak because his tentacle things are in the way. Uh, 
Sorry about that. I must apologise for my sneezing. Well, at least uh, <laughs> germs don't carry through the internet. <laughs> no, it's a computer virus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my recent conversion, that's why I've showed this one off. Basically a tunic daughter cannon. With all the uh, gurgly, nerglish rounds that it can fire. Which I, I, I quite like that arm. Obviously I'm going to have to mould a bit of green stuff here. But uh, also a heavy flamer. And that's what's great about this model. Because one of the uh, tentacle things is already broken off. And I found a spare... Uh, well, a friend found a spare heavy flamer in a bits box. So he just gave it to us. So I was like, thank you. I'm very grateful for it. And I've super glued it. So now that can be either power scourge or heavy flamer. But I've chosen it to be heavy flamer. Because what you see is what you get. And to be fair... Do I really need it in combat when it's just an artillery piece? And this isn't this part isn't finished because I'll I'll add some robo gear machinery bits coming out everywhere. Yeah, aggressive hand pauses. Apparently that's aggressive from what I've learnt in school. Shazer, excuse the language, excuse my German language. That just fell off into there and it's safe so haha yeah this is my favorite bit about the conversion just the demon popping out it's kind of like um you know when something pops out but it's not like it like a portal where you'll go through and the head pops out it's more like a, a wall and it's just like slowly going through the wall and the wall turns into latex you can see all the detail on the guy that's where I got the idea from, just like the demon head just popping out, it's utter rage, as it's described in the fluff, so, blah. Plus also the top hatch was missing, so I was like, and this was in bits when I got it, for example, the missing claw, and all the legs were broken off and all that, and I got it for a tenner. So I thought, bargain, repair, re-sculpt, convert. And so far it's looking good. Um, ha oh, that's me. Um, also, my second heavy support, and my other heavy support option, for day one's list, which is a land raider. Uh, it has extra armour, and it also has a dozer blade. I didn't choose to mark possession, because, quite frankly, yes, it's nice to have a roll on a 2+, plus to ignore everything, but then again, I'm hitting everything on 4+. plus. Now, while may some say that's... Who cares? It's twin linked everything. I'd rather hit on three plus to be fair. And this isn't a fly. Even though it's got the firepower to take out a flyer, it's not going to do that much as I've experienced in past experiences. So yeah. Also, before I forget, my little motto, gloating motto. Haha, I rolled a six. Everybody tells us I should be calling it a five when it, because if it gets wrecked. I can gloat about myself. I'm not a gloating player, by the way. I just thought it was humorous. And, you know, just little bits of humour go a long way in this game. Uh, what else can I say about it, really? Uh, I don't, I'm not particularly fond. Even though it's the ballistic skill of a guardsman, so it still hits things. I'd rather take the advantage of ballistic skill. Um, plus extra arms, not that bad. If I need hitting on any sixes, I know someone will bring a fly, so I'll just end up fi snap firing. Anyway, uh, what do I need? Yes, fast attack. This is the last part of day one's list. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. It's a Reaper from Doctor Who. I'm counting it as a Helldrake. With a little LED. Surprise. Bale Flamer, yes. But I have two Helldrakes in this list with Bale Flamers. Oh, excuse me, I'm just taking a sip of water. Sorry about that. Right. Uh, wild Bale... The wild Bale Flamers, may you, may you say. Because, I know for a fact, every Imperium player there, and there is going to be... A, and the vast majority is Imper Imperium players, is going to take an Aegis defence line. Now, Bale Flamers are torrent weapons, so that's an extra 12 inches, as well as the extra 8 inches for the Flamer template. 8.5, 8 inches, as far as I remember. And it's also strength 6 AP3. So those long fangs or uh, artillery behind our heavy weapons team or anything that's good with a cover save and can just shoot the sh 
sugar-coated sugar cans out of everything. We'll be saying bye-bye to a little heavy flame of surprise. Strength 6 AP3, I can't really argue with that, especially when it's a free upgrade for 170 points. <laughs> what is the world going to? Insanity! But yet again, insanity, well, sanity is for the weak, as Chaos usually proclaim. This is my second, um, second, 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 hell, 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 Drake, sorry about that. Um, yeah. I know what you're thinking about this base, it's a bit big. But concerning the fact that the width is exactly the same, but if there's any, um, what would you call it? There's any uh, shenanigans on at the tournament. I'll just simply get a wipeable marker and I'll wipe and I'll draw a template from the oval on the Dakajets. Heldrake. Hel <laughs> Dakajet Heldrake proxy. Um. Well, what else? Day two. Now day two has two hell boots. Yes, two halberds. Now, both come with twin glass cannons. Absolutely brilliant. -o. I like this conversion. It's just when I saw Dark Vengeance and now the replaced dreadnoughts with, demon with even more demonically possessed dreadnoughts, I wanted to convert this dreadnought. So I made it more de organically demonic and I made it more oversized because that's the feeling I got when I saw the Dark Vengeance halberd. So it's got a massive oversized power claw. Power claw, power fist, with a little crushing clock hanging out, because it looked a bit too empty. And that's my, this is my favourite bit, the conversion, with the two sides, and like the spiked front. And then the little orc trying to escape. He's not going to make it, unfortunately. Uh, twin glass cannon, yep, twin lit, well, that's a great thing about this weapon, I can count as really anything that I can put on a hell of brute. And, and now they're only 100 points. So the little, the lush little walking sentry things which can get angry. And that's even better, the craze rule is even better now. Because when you get hit, it's always directed at the enemy as well. So, brilliant, brilliant stuff from Games Workshop and Forge World model. This one of the first models I've painted. Yes, that is Chain Fist. I didn't realise that you couldn't put Chain Fist on unless it was a Forge World Dreadnought. But still, here it is, looking sexy as anything. Unfortunately, it does not want to seem to focus. Oh no, it is. So, as we see, turn like glass cannon, and that's generally it. Just 125 points each, so 240, 250 points. So, I don't think that's bad. And then the last thing is a vindicator. I also gave this a seed shield. I am planning on giving this a combi bolter. Or combi melter, or whatever that's got a high strength and lower AP that I can afford, and extra armor. Just mainly because I don't want the cannon being ripped off. Now I know what you're thinking. Lots of he Aegis defense lines. To be fair, I think people forget that this is a strength 10 ordnance weapon. So it's not only just good against large blobs. It's also good against tanks. And even probably better against tanks because it's AP2. That means... Oh, see all those uh, pretty little uh, armor 14 things? Bye bye, hopefully on a roll of 5. If I penetrate, which isn't that hard considering now I need force to glance at the toughest vehicle. And that is my army list. So, Defiler, and that was Day 2's 2000 point list. Um... Yes, I know it went a bit quite fast, but that's because I just did a draft and that was like around about 16 minutes and there was lots of pauses. I don't think everybody likes pauses after my last pausing video of the Chaos Marine Codex. So anyway, yes, that is my list and I am going to be playing this against my friend, 98 Jello Man, who plays Necrons and I apologise for not sending the battle report this week because I didn't have the time to uh, subs no sorry uh, but hopefully this weekend I should be getting it up because I'll have a game against him and it'll be quite fun one and he'll be using a part of my Necrons which I haven't given well I've let him borrow could say but uh, yeah that'll be a fun game 
see how this list, see how my day one list turns out. Then, um, yes, hopefully through the week as well, this week, I'll be doing more Codex reviews. Probably Orcs and how they found 6th edition. And probably Space Marines as well, because I have Codex. Might do Imperial Guard, but it's suffice to say that Imperial Guard cover a lot of things. But I will do my versions, cause, just because I, can, I quite enjoy the aspect of reviewing codexes, I, I, I don't know, it's just when I made the uh, Chaos Marine Codex, I just, I just enjoyed, I don't understand why, but I just enjoyed searching, just speaking my mind. And I also enjoyed it when I was talking about the Warriors of Chaos update, which I must apologise for my rant on at the uh, Juggernauts of Corn, but I felt like it was needed. I just could not say anything good to say about them fluff-wise, I could only see them as a tournament unit. It's just, if you bring that into a friendly game, I would not play you because you just did not want to come here to play a fun game, you just wanted to win. I apologise, I wasn't meant to be directly attacking people when I said that, but that's how I feel about the situation of, of Juggernaut. Anyhow, anyhow, anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this day one list and day two list for the Games of War in Siam. My local gaming score, store for the 8th and 9th of December and the year is 2012. So thank you for watching. If you liked, please give this a like and a subscribe. Thank you for watching. This is Typical Argonian signing out.